nice bit of rust uh so yeah this is ideal for use in a garage enables body structures to be returned to original shape great for crash repairs and off the road for before and my use Ford Sun hydraulic pump ram and hose supplied with a wedge ram and a variety of end pieces and extensions so sum it up so this should be perfect for what i need really oh it looks nice let me zoom out a bit so we can see hmm so we got pieces and so basically you got a hand crank and you pump with that and um, it will force oil down and open that and I like the jaws of life from a fire engine so that's what we're going to use to uh, manipulate the metal. Do not exceed the maximum rate to load of four tons. I definitely don't think it's going to be four tons. There's various pieces all over. Obviously, I have no idea how to use it yet. I know something like that would go. Is it, that acts as a foot. I've seen it in a picture. So you can position it. There's bars and whatnot in there to uh, put against things. Anyway. Let's uh, get on with that. I just want to tell you how warm it is today first. 32. Right, here's the bits. So it's got this quick cover on. Keeps it clean, I suppose. These have got quick couplings. So I believe they just unscrew. Get the crap out. I don't know why I'm doing this today, I have to say. It's 440, 443 and it's 32 degrees. There you go. What is that round there? Oh, they've sprayed the PTFE tape on that. Right, so, officially, <laughs> That ram would pump. Oh, look at that. It opens things up. So, how do you release it back? Does it just go back? Nah, there must be a better way than that. Oh, my stupidity. So that's that, and then, ah. You turn the knob there. Okay. Hang on. Let's turn the knob back up. So it lets air in. Right, so. And in a piece. Right. That's just pushing it up. We don't want to push it up, do we? Let's bring it up in there a bit. I want to push it out. Using the inside of the wheel, uh, I need to bend that back as well. Stronger than that. Whisper. How far does that come out? That's just pushing that bit off.
shades. Just to clarify, if I do break something down there, I'll just replace it. Something down there is cheaper than fixing that at a body shop. That's for sure. It's always one, isn't it? Yeah. That goes up a bit, doesn't it? Oh, it's coming out. coming out let's get you around this side there we go that's right there let's just relax that a bit Right, in my quest not to have to take the Rover to any form of body shop to get it on a jig or anything like that, you've seen me previously brought that. I'm not ever gonna take a car to a body shop or anything because it's just not worth it. So I've been on eBay and I found this. This device is for pulling. So this device down here is fine. The problem you've got is if you need to um, stretch two pieces of metal away from each other this will do that but when you need to pull this doesn't pull there's nowhere for it to attach at the end so for instance i'm going to use a wall there's nowhere for it to attach and then pull so i've been online onto a couple of uh, websites and the guy has a body shop and he came across this device, so looking through, he said he's used this. And this is literally for, well it's a two ton hand puller and it's for pulling metal. It's really rudimentally crude I think, it's quite, it was literally like 20 bucks, but it's pretty shit. It's for pulling, not lifting, that, let me be certain of that. And it clearly says that on it, do not lift, it's for pulling only. Pulling, you know, it's a lot less force pulling than there is uh, pulling. I mean a lot less force pulling than there is lifting something. So a guy in a body shop's used these and he recommended them and I went on eBay and found it. It was 25 pounds it was worth a go. So what you do obviously is attach one end to another end. So car, wall and and ratchet and off you go. And the only thing is it doesn't come with any chains or straps or anything. So I need to fashion something that's gonna work. I've got a quick look on Amazon, etc. to look at some Tow ropes would have been perfect because they got the right end. The problem is the tow rope is too long. I don't know what to use. But I was just having a mooch in my cupboard, which is a happy cupboard at that. And recently I changed the seat belt on my classic mini. So I'm hoping it is here. Changed my seatbelt on my classic mini. There's a bit wrong with the seatbelt, it was just my car, my seatbelt in my mini should be red. For some reason, it's not very lacking on them. Um, so, yeah, this strap's perfect for that. I mean, it would always be in a crash, so something like that is perfect. There's a hook and an end. The only thing I need to do is, again, it's like, um, it's like the tow ropes, it's too long, so I need to maybe demolish that and wrap it round. But I thought I'd try this first because this is free and it didn't cost me anything worse tow ropes, the cheapest one I could find of at least two ton pulling power, which is will match that, is uh is ten pounds, so we'll try that. Anyway, let me have a go at this and I'll come back and see what I'll let you know. Oh. Right, so I've got it undone. I took that cap off, it's flew off somewhere and that sprung out and it literally whacked me in the hand. There's a few cuts on my hand. It still hurts, but it, there we go. I didn't know that was going to uncoil. So I got it all out. 
Um, I managed to keep the buckles on it and I'm hoping this end there's a little metal bar in there I managed to slide it out to get it through that gap there but I've put it back on and hopefully it will I think it should be fine I don't think it'd be that strong enough to pull it through after all it is a seat belt so it's designed not to pull through we we'll give it a whirl right I'm gonna go and set the cameras up and then we go to the car and have a look actually this is where I am at the moment in fact I've just set my phone my phone up <sighs> right so I've moved the car over here if you've noticed I'm gonna use the wall or the floor drill some holes etc and put a bolt in or something I'll find something around here to bolt onto and then yank well not yank but I need to pull that bit down there well, the plan is to pull that bit down. Anyway, we're going to see how we get on. It's got to be better than nothing, eh?